All right, and welcome back to the Dofer A121 multi-mode filter series in Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. This time around, we're going to be looking at some sound examples of the A121 multi-mode filter, as well as uh, oscilloscope views. If you look over on the right, I have my oscilloscope set up and ready to go, and we're going to be seeing what some of these things do when they're patched. So um, as you can see over here in my VCO, I have a few notes coming in over here. Um, my Dofer A155 is off camera somewhere over there, um, and it's going to feed notes in here. It's got a little ditty. Uh, if you watched one of the previous uh, episodes, I can't remember which, but it's got some notes in there, so the, the melody might sound familiar. Um, at any rate, we're going to be patching uh, a saw wave straight into our filter and then hearing what that sounds like just to start out with. Uh, so here's the saw wave, and over we go into our multi-mode filter and the audio in. There we are. And now if we look at our oscilloscope, we don't have any activity over there yet, but that's because we don't have anything patched in. Uh, now I'm bringing my cable up. I'm going to use one of these special cables that we showed in one of the previous ones called a stack cable, um, only because for this demonstration, I couldn't figure out a way to get a useful uh, multiple in here and still plan for the future segment. So we're using a stack cable. Uh, this basically multiplies uh, the signal coming into it. Uh, so I'm going to be taking the low pass out right here, and then that signal is going over to our oscilloscope. So if you take a look, our oscilloscope, we see a triangle wave over there. Or not, sorry, uh, not triangle wave, but a saw wave. Got mixed up there for a second. Uh, in my practice, I was using a triangle wave, so that's why I got mixed up. Um, at any rate, back over here at the multi-mode, we're taking this up into our mixer, and now we should be able to hear it. Here we go. So that is the signal that we're working with. Now, as far as how this is going to adjust, we're going to be looking at two things here. We're going to be looking at the frequency cutoff, and we're going to be looking at the resonance. So I'm going to be bringing down cutoff, and I'm going to let you hear it first. And there's cutoff. And there we have our full saw wave back. Okay, so you get the idea there. Now let's take a look at our oscilloscope and I'll do the exact same thing. So there on our oscilloscope, you can see we got a saw wave just kind of jumping around. And here we go, I'm going to bring down the frequency now. And you should start seeing the edges of it kind of round off. And you can hear it kind of being muffled now. Now eventually it gets a very rounded shape, but it's also going down in amplitude as you can see too. And then all the way down to where all the frequencies are just cut off. So let me bring some of those back. So that's the low pass and adjusting cutoff. Um, now let's jump down to resonance and play around with the resonance a little bit. So I'm going to bring up the resonance so you can hear what that sounds like. And it's very hard to detect, at least it was for me. So See, about there, you should be able to hear a little bit of resonant peak if you have some good uh, speakers you're listening to this on. On the oscilloscope, it actually looks fairly uh, enhanced, so that's a nice way to put it. And right about there, it goes into self-oscillation where you can just hear like one sustained pitch. Okay, let's go back to no resonance. Okay, now this time around, let's do it with the oscilloscope, so keep your eye on the oscilloscope. And here I am bringing resonance up. stop at about five and just let you take a look at where I'm at. So I'm at about five right there. And now let's continue up. So keep
keep looking at the oscilloscope now. And now you can see the saw wave starting to distort quite a bit. Let's keep on bringing resonance up. And right about there, if we go back to our A121, we're at about 9 right there. Um, back at our oscilloscope, you can see that the waveform has changed quite a bit when we're in self-oscillation. Now, let's uh, combine the two things together. So, I'm going to go up to the cutoff and bring that down about halfway. And let me bring the resonance down. So, let's take a look at our waveform. You can see it kind of looks like a saw wave, but the edges are a little rounded. So let's bring up the resonance. Let's go back to A121 so you can see where we are. And I'm going to bring it up to about 5. And then take a look at the waveform over there on the oscilloscope. You can see it's got that little extra edge there. Now, back at the A121, I'm going to continue to go up. And then look at the oscilloscope. And you can see now it's getting quite jagged. Now we got some very interesting shapes going on in our oscilloscope. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. Now let's go back to the A121 because I'm going to bring down the frequency a little bit. And let's look at what that looks like on the oscilloscope. Now we just have kind of a rounded waveform, almost like a sine wave. Now I'm going to bring up the resonance a little bit, so keep your eye on the oscilloscope. it all the way up at the top if you look at the A121. It's in self-oscillation. But the waveform is not really giving me that much feedback there other than kind of a rounded waveform. So let's bring that up a little more and the cutoff over here at the A121. Keep your eye on the oscilloscope. And there we are back in highest possible cutoff and highest possible resonance. And that's what we got at the oscilloscope as well. Okay? So that should give you a basic idea of what's going on with the low pass. So let's unpatch the low pass. There we go. And let's take a listen to the high pass. I'm going to bring the cutoff all the way down, resonance all the way down before we patch it in. And let's go up to the high pass. So here we go, high pass. Okay, sounds very similar to low pass, you're probably thinking to yourself. So let's bring the cutoff up a little bit. Let's take a look at our oscilloscope and what's going on there. We know we're working with a sine wave, but our shape is not really, or a saw wave. I don't know if I said sine. Saw wave, we're working with a saw wave, and here we are looking at our oscilloscope. You can see the shape is just not there, really. So it's cutting out quite a bit of the frequencies in the saw wave. And then that's what you got at the highest possible cutoff. And right about there, it starts to look a little more like a saw, but it's still got kind of rounded edges there. Just to give you a basic idea. Okay, so now that we've done that, just checked out what what it looks like and what it sounds like. Let's go into resonance. So I'm going to bring my cutoff all the way down in my A121. And then let's go down to resonance and then bring that up a little bit. And just hear what we what we hear. Not really hearing that much. Let's try playing with the frequency a little bit. There we hear quite a bit of distortion. I'm not going to go to the oscilloscope yet. So there you got all the way almost at the clockwise position. This is where you got the 
sort of most distinct and kind of out of character from the saw wave as it could possibly be, I think. Okay, now let's take a look at what that looks like on the oscilloscope. Let's pop over to the oscilloscope. I'm going to bring my resonance all the way down over here at my A121. Maybe to about 4. I'm going to bring the frequency cutoff up. Keep your eye on the oscilloscope. You can see the shape is changing quite a bit. Now I'm going to go back to the A121 and I'm going to bring up resonance to about the 5. Go a little further to about the 7 or 8. Let's take a look at that on the oscilloscope. It's quite a different shape there. Let's bring up the frequency again. And let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so let's look at the A121. We got a, at about an 8 on the frequency cutoff. Let's bring it up even higher and then see what that looks like on the oscilloscope. Let's bring up the resonance all the way. So you can see it's kind of distorting now in the oscilloscope, changing the way it looks. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Almost kind of like a growly sound. To me, it reminds me a little bit of the uh, Dofer A106 Extreme Filter, a little bit, just a self-oscillation distortion kind of effect. And so there you have everything in between. So I can bring the resonance down a little bit. We keep our eye on the oscilloscope. You can see we still got quite a bit of a distorted wave. Playing with the frequency a little bit, going up, and the resonance back up. And then there at our oscilloscope there, we have a quite a distorted wave back to where we were before. Uh, at any rate, that's going to kind of wrap up the first section of the sound demonstration of the Dofer A121 multi-mode filter. I think you got a fairly good idea about what's been going on, um, at least visually and also sonically, uh, with adjusting the cutoff frequency uh, in low-pass or high-pass mode, as well as adding or removing resonance or taking a little bit of both into our waveform and uh, seeing exactly how that changes it on an oscilloscope as well as in our ears. So for the next segment, we'll be looking at the bandpass and the notch filter of the Dofer A121. So please, please stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching and see you shortly.